before I go into the rest of the video, I just wanted to cover the topic of the video, which is the scale is a liar. And the reason why I say the scale is a liar is because it is. Uh, I wish I had the clips, but I erased them and I don't feel like getting them back. So I'm just gonna tell y'all what happened. So that white scale that y'all see me weighing on Wednesdays, I didn't do it this week because I got on another scale, digital scale, and it was something totally different. Matter of fact, it was 10 pounds heavier than the white scale. Now, the white scale was supposed to be scaled at zero. So, needless to say, I had to now readjust this whole cut. Basically, just wasted an entire month of the cut based off of a false, um, false weight or the scale. But that's what I want to tell you guys. Usually, I don't really go by the scale, and this is the exact reason why I don't go by the scale because oftentimes the scale is wrong. Even the digital scales at times can be wrong, even though they have a greater chance of the weight of you having the correct weight or how much you weigh or whatever. But this is the reason why I really don't go on scales is because of this right here. Um, you know, getting one scale, yeah, I don't have a scale at the house. I feel like I don't need one. But, um, needs to say, uh, I'm going to have to readjust this entire cut and get a whole new way in now and all this stuff because of a scale. And this is why I want to tell you guys, if, if you're cutting, uh, bulking, whatever the case may be, bulking, cutting, dieting, whatever, whatever, whatever the shit called, and you live and die by the scale, I believe you'll be doomed from the start. Um, I wouldn't live and die by the scale. I would just do what you gotta do and do it the right way and then weigh yourself once a week. I wouldn't weigh myself every day because if you get, to me, if you stagnate your weight and your weight doesn't change or you even gain weight, that's an easy way of getting yourself flustered and then you wanna say, fuck it, I don't wanna do this no more or you just, your mind starts playing tricks on you which will continue your plateau and I just feel like that's just not the way to go. Um, the scale can't be a liar and you shouldn't be going by what the scale says, honestly. Now, if you're a pro at it and you've been doing this for quite some time and you know, and you know what the hell you're doing, then this doesn't apply to you. This only applies to people like me who hasn't been cutting, bulking often. People who are, who are new to this uh, macro counting, this new revolution of dieting, uh, people who are fresh at you know, losing weight, gaining weight, losing weight, gaining weight. Uh, I would just take it slow and steady, like I'm doing, slow and steady. And it's going to take years anyway. It's not going to be overnight. It's going to take some time for you to get adjusted to this. To this. And that's just my advice to you guys. Um, like I said, I wish I had the footage. And I think I probably would do it this week again. Just to show you guys, so that's coming up later in a, in a later vlog. I will show you guys what happened. Uh, I will weigh myself again on the white scale. And then I'm going to get on this digital scale and weigh myself. It's going to be two different weights. And they're both going to be zeroed out. So, I'm going to show you guys that. And that's it. So, keep grinding, keep going, keep doing what you got to do. Let's make these iron gains. It's iron grind. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Hey,
I'm sorry, right here. Yeah. So I hit that bird. So my biceps are burnt out. And it forces you to pull that mud with your back. You know what yeah. I'm So I hope you guys enjoyed that session. Uh, well, that little uh, bit I did with the Ramis. Always good to work out with my dog, my nig, my boy, man. Always good. Pushes me to my limits, and that's exactly why I need people that's, that can surround me and push me to my limits. So I want to put the workout in the end of this here. Just wanted to give y'all the rest. I took it solo from there to finish off the workout. You see, I did um, palms up with the cable crossover with some pull ups. Then I finished it off with a bench press. Uh, decided to do another triple fail. We called the triple F baby. And uh, then did the, uh, the horizontal, the, the lat pull down from the side again. To really focus on the lats so that was the workout like i said i'll put it at the end of the of this enjoy the rest of the vlog fam so how y'all doing today uh saturday hope you guys are having a good weekend so far i hope you guys enjoyed that little physique update i gave y'all for april things are getting a little better but it's still slow progress but we're going to talk about that later on in the vlog right now i'm about to get ready to go to the gym i have paul squats 315 today uh working on the explosiveness so just want to check in with you guys hope you guys appreciate you guys for staying with me this long for the video as always it never goes unnoticed appreciate all the support never goes unnoticed and let's get it baby everybody can go out and have a good time you give me the dark crevice
to This is Michelin star in the kitchen No drive through death flow Shut up, ain't one prepping it Tips got a bottle on deck Most definite niggas can't question it Give it a dark, nasty, dringy Disgusting corner Of a gym in the No nightclub no one person, no one. I take this all day long. Rest of my life. No place I'd rather be right now. And right here. It's a mouse click. South Street. Don't never doubt this. They call me the agent of change since I came in the game. I really came from the swing of things. Made about a buck fifty an hour, spent it on Jordans. The rest of my bread was for re up and recording. Hotel rooms, copping fifths on the weekend. My classmates and baby pools are swimming in deep ends. With sharks, seen the gunfire spark from the barrel. Like a cherry on the blunt to get designer apparel where they any up. Yap that fool. Killer Mike type, better run them jewels. Spitting bars and luxury cars. Hot boxing with dope boys, put money on my rhyme so hot than a foot in the booth and the foot on the block then wisdom of the streets don't sleep is not my option death on the left and tip on my right and phonics on the beats is one hell of a night huh Two more, two more. Yeah. I don't sleep. <sighs> yeah. It's really been the marathon of time, filled with the dirty nutrients on the spot. I can't help it, it's the way my mind's wide. I wonder why everybody turns to lies. Social celebrity is not longevity. No matter what you can't be mad at the youth, what weapon we get against them for combat and con. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Right there. Hey, don't make no excuses, man. No excuses, like I just said. <sighs> Give me the dark, nasty, grittiest, dirtiest, stankiest corner of my gym. Over some nightclub. Over chasing some some pussy. Any day of the week. Any day of the week. Say that one more time. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, the honchos, baby. It's a mixture. My name is Tony. <laughs> That's what we do here, man. That's what we do here. Let's get it, y'all. Fantastic rest. Propaganda is what they throw. It ain't about privilege, it's about what you know. Black lives matter, hands up, don't shoot. What they saying when I take they loop and keep marching. Anybody threaten mine will see darkness. For eternity, that's why shit ain't concerned. Oh, I don't lock my knees. I don't fully extend. That's how a person gets their shit snapped. Y'all see the bill, they got a yellow shirt with the 40 plates. And then on top of that, he locked his knees and went full extension. Nah, nah, not gonna work with me. So people can rag all they want to. He went three inches. You know what? Going three inches has helped me grow my leg. All right, guys. So I know I've been talking a lot in this video, and practically I don't care. It's my channel, so I can do that. But I just wanted to show you guys uh, the fourth and final set of my lay press now today. I did up to eight plates for 12 to 15 reps. But on this fourth set, I wanted to go a little old school, back to square one, where I used to do. And um, that is a super set, actually a giant mega set. So you see I had eight plates. I decided to do 10 reps and then go seven for 10, six for 10, five for 10, so on and so forth as a mega set then I, when I got down to three two or three it was as failure versus as I could so that was the finisher give us a try guys I guarantee you you want to love it I'm going to close out the rest of the video here please like comment share subscribe thank y'all for watching and strive for your greatness I'm out